So today I'm going to be getting ready for the day. As you guys can see, uh, I already got ready, but I'm going to show you guys how I got this look. So yeah, I'm going to go do like some errands and stuff, but quick shout out to Reebok. I'm super, super excited for this opportunity because I've always been a huge uh, fan of Reebok sneakers. And when they told me they wanted to collaborate with me, I was like, hell yes. Like their sneakers are so dope. These are the Reebok Classic legacy leather sneakers they are absolutely stunning and i'm obsessed with them they are such a 90s vibe which is has been all the vibes for sneakers this past year so i'm very very excited like look at this beautiful shoe guys literally the perfect sneaker like this on with a pair of boyfriend jeans, high-waisted jeans, shorts, anything. So cute, not to mention they're so comfortable. So with these classic leather legacies, the whole thing is like, you know, what inspires you to like, what is your legacy? For me, I think my biggest legacy would definitely be just being creative. Like that's kind of what I want to, you know, give a shout out to like all the creators. Like the legacy I want to leave behind is that you can do anything in this world and anyone, you know, can do makeup and start a YouTube channel and you know you can just do whatever you put your mind to and so like the legacy i want to leave behind is like to be that role model for people to look up to me and say oh you know joanna's just like you know a typical normal girl and she's doing makeup tutorials on youtube and like literally anyone can do it like, you know nothing is stopping you so i just kind of want to be a creative role model to people and i think that's you know my legacy and it's important for me because the whole reason why i started youtube was because of watching other makeup girls kind of like me or beauty girls they were what inspired me to start my own channel five years ago and if i didn't start youtube i honestly don't know what i would be doing right now so I'm like i'm super super thankful for all of you guys so so much like thank you for all your love and support and for those of you guys who have stood by my side for the past five years actually like honestly like i can't i just wouldn't be able to do any of the things that i do without you guys like it's so important for me to be that role model for other girls who want to do what i do or are really into makeup or are really into beauty like, if that's something you want to do you should go do it these legacy sneakers i kind of like really really thought about like damn like what is actually my legacy or what is the legacy that i want to leave behind and that is literally it yeah that's why it's super important for me because i want to be in that inspiration and because other youtubers like myself were what inspired me to go down this path so my my personal style is very much so laid back, very chill. I never like to go all out. I'm not super crazy with colors. I like a basic, you know, white crop pair of boyfriend jeans and sneakers like that is like literally my go-to style i always wear sneakers i love a good pair of sneakers i can style a pair of sneakers a dress with shorts with anything like i will wear a pretty dress with sneakers like that is my go-to so i just would say my style is super laid back while kind of being stylish but not too girly kind of in between of tomboy and girly anyways make sure you check out the classic legacy leather sneakers from Reebok in the link down below. I love you guys so, so much. And let's get ready with me for the day. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do like a little random get ready with me. I just really want to get ready for my day. And yeah, I thought why not film it. I really have been trying my best to get like as much content out as possible. And to be completely honest with you guys, I hate my like living situation right now because I currently live with a roommate. So literally I feel like I can't film anywhere except for in my room. And my room is so small. Like it's just not ideal for filming and my lease ends in two months so i'm going to be moving out and getting my own place and in the apartment that i'm already kind of eyeing there is a separate little den that i'm planning into making like a filming room and the lighting there is bomb.com like it faces the sun and it's all white and it's like absolutely perfect for filming the issue with my apartment is like literally my filming situation is like i'm sitting on the floor right now with like a little nightstand in front of me i put my camera down and i'm filming so it's not ideal and it's very annoying i hate having to every single time i film having to set this up i don't leave it this way because it looks messy and it doesn't match with my room i just literally have no space in my room anyways that's a little rant but i want to go ahead and get ready 
for my day. I'm gonna just, you know, kind of glam myself up right now. I look a little, but yeah, I just want to look a little more brighter. I don't know how the lighting is. Like, I give up, honestly. This apartment has terrible lighting, and I'm so tired of it. Like, I just need good lighting. This apartment has, like, these weird tints on the walls that make the apartment so dark and the lighting is just very weird it's very like gray and i hate it and it needs to be fixed so i'm gonna do a talk with me get ready with me because i feel like i haven't done one in a while so all right i don't know what i want to do today i'm gonna put my hair up so it doesn't bother you guys so i know by the way the topic of my hair which i feel like you guys are probably so tired of me talking about my hair because i feel like it's all i talk about but the topic of my hair i know that a lot of people really like me with dark hair and don't worry guys i will go to dark hair soon i just want to enjoy the light hair for a little longer because it costs so much money to go light and i just don't want to feel like i wasted it down the drain so i really just want to like enjoy having light hair i might go a little lighter on my roots like go the f do the full blonde thing just to get it over with and you know never think about oh i wonder what i would look like if i was fully blonde and then after that once i've like completely my hair sorry guys messed up my hair i will go back to dark hair and never do it again honestly i feel like two different people with light and dark hair this is the dew drops i haven't used this in a while i don't know why it's just it's been sitting around and i'm like oh my god like that packaging is so pretty why haven't i used that in a long time so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and put some of this on so um I've been trying to get into TikTok lately, and to my surprise, one of my videos, like, one of my stupidest videos goes viral. Like, nothing I really say on TikTok is something that I actually mean. It's just sort of like, you know, an inside joke in my head. So, one of the TikToks that went viral and it got, like, 3 million views was the one that said, like, if my future husband wants to have a stripper at his bachelor party, I'll be a stripper at someone else's bachelor party. And I literally, like, made that TikTok you know kind of as a joke and it went so viral i so yeah i wasn't expecting that but i don't know about you guys i just feel very overwhelmed with social media and having to stay on top of it all the time because already with my instagram it kind of gives me anxiety to like always be posting always be consistent and have youtube of course so then it's like oh also now there's tiktok and it's just like there's so many things and i don't know i just feel like i don't want to get too like stuck on social media because it already gives me so much anxiety i don't know anyone else feel that way okay so my new thing has, has kind of been just like posting something and then not looking at my phone because when i look at my phone it makes me nervous like i don't know if i'm the only one all right i'm gonna take the cc cream another product that i forgot i had absolutely love this product it's just so nice on the skin like it doesn't crease or anything it doesn't noticed with like certain foundations my skin gets like flaky and i don't know if it's because of all the products that i put on before i'm sure some of you guys know better but like this is one of the only like cc creams i found and maybe it's because of the spf and cc cream this is like one of the only ones i found that does not do like little weird flakes on my skin which i love so that on all over I like this because it's like very light coverage, great for every day, not cakey, your real skin breathes through, you can still see my freckles on my nose, and I really love that. So, life update, next month I'm going to a random trip with my mom to Turkey, super random because I wasn't planning on traveling obviously because of everything that's going on, zoom in so you guys can see them really well so i've been growing out my brows they're much thicker than before and i like them like this this is like literally just called a powder i take the light brown shade i don't do dark brown anymore because um my hair is lighter now so i just do the lighter brown and i'm just gonna fill in any sparse spaces on my eyebrows i feel like that wasn't in focus but so just like that already looks so much more they look so much fuller, you know? I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So yeah, this is not like a full coverage makeup or anything. Just disclaimer for anyone that's gonna be like, oh, this is too natural for me. Um, this is literally just me getting ready to like go do a few errands possibly. And that's it because I literally have nothing to do today. I might have to take pictures. I'm not sure yet. I then have been liking lately this Kush Clear Brow Gel. I really like the little spoolie. It's really small. And yeah, so I really like it. So I'm just gonna... Brush out my eyebrow hairs upwards. 
I'm going to start on my eyes. So my hair is bothering me. So I cut it. Like this part is like shorter now. It was like the lightest and hence it was dead. So I really needed to cut it to get it to be healthy. Yeah. And now it's like really annoying. But anyways, I am going to put this shade all over my eyes. I don't know what this is. It's a base primer in the shade Sorbet. I just think this is it's like a really pretty i really like these like eyeshadow pens it just makes application super easy brush and i'm just gonna pat down that i'm going to take this like beige color here and put it on my crease to define i'm gonna take the darker brown and i'm gonna create like sort of a like a little deeper crease there illusion d'ombre i don't even know what this is i haven't used this in a really long time and i saw it and i was like i really want to use this i'm gonna do like a little bit of that in that inner corner here and like pat it down then i think i want to do concealer Get rid of these dark circles So yeah, I'm going to Turkey and I'm excited to like explore my country because my dad is from there. So like explore my roots and where I came from because I'm so in touch with like my Ukrainian side because I was raised with my mom primarily. Like my parents divorced when I was little. Super like in touch with, you know, my mom's side and like Ukrainian culture and everything like that. But I know no absolutely nothing about Turkish culture. It just it sucks, you know. So I want to know more about Turkish culture. Did I put a little bit more concealer because I felt like that was too natural. I'm really excited. I heard everyone that goes to Turkey absolutely loves it. I just know that I'm going to love it. I'm going to like multiple spots. We're going to a lot of different places. Um, Istanbul, Bodrum, and Mari Mari's. All super beautiful places. So Bodrum is actually the place by the beach. I'm using Anastasia by the way. This is like such- I've had this palette for years. It's the best thing ever. Like it's actually the best. Next, I'm going to be contouring. So I'm going to take these two shades here. I do want to warm up like my forehead. I feel like it's very, um, very pale. So I want to bring some warmth. This is like a new trick I've been doing and I, I like to like in my inner corners do a little V. Just like I feel like it like really elongates the eye and I just like really love the way this looks. And how like that it makes the eyes just like pop so much more. And like sometimes I'll smudge it a little so it looks more natural. And then I'm thinking if I want to do a wing or not. So I'm going to take NYX. NYX. And I'm gonna do like a little bit of a liner. I'm trying to do like something very thin and minimal so it's not too much. See, it kind of like elongates the eye. I like that. If you guys can see. So, okay, what should we do next? So, next I'm gonna take the. Alright, so I'm gonna take this shade here and it's just like a really pretty uh blusher and i'm gonna apply it. and i like to do this with my fingers i think it resonates really well with that all right next i'm gonna take the shimmer part highlight in so this mascara is such a nice shade of brown so really the reason that i wear it I'm gonna take my NYX liner and exaggerate a cupid's bow. My lips look so much bigger now. All right, and I'm gonna take a classic, which I actually, again, have not used in a long time. Velvet Titty. I like totally forgot about this color. It's a beautiful color. And I'm just like, why do I not wear it? Lip Retreat Oil, and I'm gonna, it's in the shade Skinny Dip. Now I wish I had somewhere to go. <laughs> Together like this for staying home okay so this is the finished look guys i love it i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up follow me at joanna kudkina on instagram and on tiktok make sure to check out the reebok classic legacy in the link down below 
of my new favorite sneakers. I'm gonna be wearing them every day. Guys, okay, so make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys have any questions. I love you guys so, so much. And guess what? I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.